good morning students i hope all of you are fine and healthy in the last class we have successfully completed exercise 8.1 and we understood how to use trigonometric ratios today uh, the next next concept is trigonometric ratios of some specific angles so today we want to discuss about this topic we want to means actually i want to discuss about this topic so trigonometric ratios of some specific angles that means 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree these are the specific angles we have to discuss about this and so you can get the values of trigonometric ratio for this angles there are uh, some geometrical proof of this it is given in your textbook already so uh, it is easy to understand you can understand it uh, or if any in case any doubt or confusion you can ask me but i want to give you the trick to get the values this is not a part of mathematics this is just a trick so you can see in your textbook there will be a table of trigonometric angles this is a specific angles so how to make this table if you you will search in internet or youtube you will get so many tricks but uh, i want to give you one trick this is also easy see we have the angles 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree as i told you that uh, i'm going to give you one trick suppose this is your hand finger sorry fingers five fingers see i am not good in drawing okay just i have drawn a simple picture to understand suppose these are the five fingers this is your thumb this is zero degree this is 30 degree this finger is 45 this is 60 and this is 90 okay now 0 degree sin the value of sin can be find out in this way and cos in this way okay see sin sin 0 degree You have to see after zero degree. Zero degree is on the, this last finger. After this finger, you will have finger or not? Finger or not? No. Uh, suppose you need to find out sine zero degree. Okay. So after this finger, there are no finger fingers again. Okay. So if there are no finger, the number of finger is zero. The our formula is means the, uh, this one is not exact formula. To for this trick, you can use root over n by two. Here n is number of fingers. So uh, if you are going to find out sine zero degree, then after zero degree there are no fingers. So no finger. That means number of finger is zero. So root over zero by two. So root over zero is zero. Zero by two is what? Zero. That means sine zero is zero. So you can write sine zero degree is zero. Now suppose you need sine thirty degree. Now see thirty degree. For thirty degree. If to say after thirty degree, how how many fingers after this finger? There is there there is only one finger, and sine value can be find out this way. So one finger, then you can write number of fingers will be so root one by two. The value of root one is one by two. So sine thirty degrees, sine thirty degrees. Like this, you can find out the value of sine for this one. Now I'll give you I'll give you the values of cos. See now cos. Suppose you need cos zero degree. Cos zero degree. Okay. Now, so cos can be find out by this way. So, for cos zero degree, if cos can, you need to find out this way. Then, after this finger, now this side you have to see how many fingers are there? One, two, three, four. Try to understand this side. That is why after zero degree, you can see there are four fingers. One, two, three, four. So, for cos zero, you can write four fingers. So, root over four by two. The value of root four is two. Two by two. Two by two cancel. One. That means cos zero degree is one. Clear. Suppose in this net cos sixty degree. See, 
this is cos 60 after cos 60 here only one finger so root 1 by 2 square root 1 is 1 by 2 so half okay now I will give you 45 degree suppose you need cos 45 degree for cos 45 you have to see here this is 45 so this side how many fingers are there two fingers so you have to write root 2 by 2 the value cos 45 you, you can see in the table what is given a textbook 1 by root 2 but you are getting what according to this formula trick root 2 by 2 but you have to simplify it like this way multiply by root 2 on a numerator and denominator okay then root 2 root 2 2 then 2 into root 2 2 root 2 2 2 cancel what is left 1 by root 2 and see this is the middle finger here then for sine also you can find this one for sine this side then for, for sine 45 this are 2 root 2 there are 2 angles so it is this same root 2 by 2 that is why sine 45 degree and cos 45 degree they have same here but 1 by root 2 so sine 45 also 1 by root 2 cos 45 also 1 by root 2 now 10 about 10 you will not get the value of 10 from this finger trick 10 we have a relation that 10 of any angle is equal to sine by cos sine of, sine of that angle by cos cos now suppose you need 10 45 degree okay so 10 45 degree is equal to you can find out sine 45 by cos 45 sine 45 1 by root 2 cos 45 1 by root 2 we go to here this 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 cancel what is left 1 so cos 45 is 1 not only for 45 you can find out for all suppose you need uh, 10 0 degree then sine 0 by cos 0 sine 0 is 0 and cos 0 is what 1 and 0 divided by 1 is 0 so it is 0 now see like this you can find out the value of cone so, um, 10 now sine co after getting sine cos and 10 these are the reciprocals cos is reciprocal sine seg is reciprocal cos cot is reciprocal of 10 then if sine 0 is 0 degree then cos cos 0 is what sine 0 reciprocal of this reciprocal of this what 1 by 0 means so i mean to say cos 0 is reciprocal means 1 by sine 1 by sine means what what is the value of cos 0 uh, sine 0 0 degree so cos 0 is 0 by 1 by 0 cos 0 is what 1 by 0 and all of you know that no there are no numbers which is divided by 0 it is it is what error it is undefined and the error means this um, no numbers are dividable by, di will be divisible by 0 it is not possible to divide by 0 any number and so 1 divided by 0 you can write error or undefined so cos x 0 is undefined so like this you can find out the other values so this is your homework uh, homework means you have to complete this table all values you have to write by using this trick understood i have all of you understood this trick in case any confusion regarding this you can ask me in the evening so um, if you understand then please complete this table by using this trick only don't copy from the textbook okay and uh, these values actually need to remember but uh, no need to buy hard if you have to buy hard then you can buy hard but when you will no need to buy hard when you will use these uh, values to solve problems after solving 50 or 60 sums it will be remember automatically okay now uh, in exercise 8.2 you have to use these values just now what i have told you to solve the sums the simplification means evaluate you need to find find the values see sine 60 question number one one number sine 60 cos 30 sine 30 cos 60 sine 60 root 3 by 2 just need to put the values sine 60 in, here sine 60 in cos 30 what is the value of sine 60 you have seen in the table you can see in the table that uh, sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 cos 30 also root 3 by 2 sin 30 what is the value of sin 30 half into cos 60 also value is half root 3 into 3 3 2 2 is a 4 
1 into 1, 1, 2 to the 4. So 4 by 4 is 1. This is very easy, very, very easy. Then 2 number, 2 10 square 45 plus cos square 30 minus sin square 60. Okay. So here, this uh, you can see 10 is square. Then cos is square, all the, have is square. So when you put the value, you have to give a square means 2 10 10 45 the value of 10 45 is what 1 so 10 square 45 is you can represent 1 square cos cos 30 root 3 by 2 so there is a cos square 30 is root 3 by 2 whole square minus sin 60 root 3 by 2 so you can write root 3 by 2 whole square then 1 square is 1 1 2 is 2 root 3 square is 3 then 2 square is 4 3 by 4 then root 3 square is 3 2 square is 4 3 by 4, 3 by 4, plus 3 by 4, minus 3 by 4, 3 by 4, you can cancel. What is left? 2. Okay. See. Question number 1. Question number 1, 3 number. Cos 45 by sec 30 plus cos 30. First of all, you put the value cos 45. The value of cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Sec 30. So, cos 30 is how much? Root 3 by 2. Then, reciproc uh, sec is reciprocal of cos 30. It is? 2 by root 3. Then cosec 30 reciprocal of sin. Sin 30 is half. Cosec 30 is 2 by 1. Now LCM of root 3 and 1. Root 3. Then root 3 root 1 times. Then root 3 into 2. 2 root 3. Then 1 into root, uh, root 3 times. So three, 2 into root 3. 2 root 3. Clear? Now you cannot simplify here. Now if this divide. You cannot simplify means uh, this one you cannot add. If this divide you convert into multiply. Then this denominator will become numerator. And this numerator will become denominator. Now, root 3 into 1, root 3, and this will be multiplied with this 2, root 3 into 2, 2 root 2, root 3 into 2, 2 root 2, and root 3 into 2, 2 root 3, this root 3, this root 2, so 2 root 6. Okay, now let's analyze. For let's analyze, you are giving a plus, so multiply by minus. We have understood this one in class 9. 2 root 2, minus 2 root 6, 2 root 2, minus 2 root 6. Now multiply root 3, this 2 root 3 into 2 root 2, 2 root 6, root 3 into minus 2 root 6, 2, 6, 3 is a root 18. And this one is 2 root 2 plus 2 root 6, 2 root 2 minus 2 root 6, means what? A plus B, A minus B. So you can write A square minus B square. So if you take out the bracket from the denominator, then this 2 has a square, uh, this 2 is under root, so square root cancel, only 2, and this 2, 2 square for 2 is a, means 4 into 2, and here, 2 into sorry 2 square is 4 4 into 6 4 2 is a 8 4 6 is a 24 and uh, you can see numerator okay root 18 root 18 you can write what 3 square into 2 means 9 9 into 2 now the square root of 3 is what the square root of uh, means 3 square means the square root of 9 3 square is 3 square then if uh, square root cancel what is, uh, this 3 will come out and it will be multiplied with 2 2 into 3 root 2 clear then 2 root 6 and minus 2 into 3 into root 2 and 4 2 is a 8 minus 4 6 is a 24 here you can take common 2 what is left root 6 and 2 already common what is common left 3 root 2 then 8 minus 24 is minus 16 2 is a 16 and what is left here you are having one more line you can write here root 6 minus 3 root 2 by minus 8 okay now see this minus uh, minus you're having here so you can write in the standard way like this uh, see if you uh, give minus here and you can write root 6 minus 3 root 2 you can write 3 root 2 minus 3 root 6 now see this balance or not before it was minus uh, minus 3 root 2 plus root 6 now after giving minus see if you take out the bracket minus plus minus 3 root 2 and minus minus plus root 6 that means it is balanced you can write like this way and denominator is minus 8. Now minus minus cancel. 3 root 2 minus root 6 by 8. And this is the final answer. Understood? Okay. So I hope all of you understood these sums. How to use this trigonometric table of some specific angles. And uh, that table is also your homework, what I have given to complete. And from exercise 8.2. Exercise 8.2 Homework 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फोर एंड फाइव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेटर होम ओके इफ यू हैव एनी कंफ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग दिस साउंड यू कैन आक्स मी इन द इवनिंग फील फ्री टू आक्स मी एनीथिंग इफ यू वांट टू आक्स मी ओके एंड सब मे बी फ्रॉम वर्क इन द इवनिंग थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू